While Walmart and Target took notes from startups on how to succeed, you may have missed the better indoor pollution plan and the robotic octopus that signals big things. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where if looping a video of a seal jumping onto a boat in Vancouver is wrong, I don't want to be right. She's not going <laughs> Rather than relying on stiff mechanical joints, tomorrow's robots will move more like living creatures, which is why Harvard researchers just created the world's first fully autonomous robotic octopus. It's 3D printed, runs on hydrogen peroxide with a platinum catalyst, and moves by pumping oxygen into its various tentacles. The research team hopes its soft robot technology will go into everything from surgical tools to search and rescue bots. We're more concerned with the fact that it looks just like the adorable purple octopus just discovered by research vessel EV Novelis. It's like some little kid dropped their toy. <laughs> Not to generalize, but if you're here, chances are you may have a touch of asthma to deal with. It's cool guys, me too. Which is not helped by indoor air pollution. But that's where our friend science comes in. Researchers say house plants are better at dealing with regular everyday pollutants than even many ventilation systems, and they're way cheaper. Scientists built a sealed chamber and monitored individual plants' ability to clear the air. Turns out the bromeliad was the best of them all, so you know what we're doing this weekend. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Apple patched its operating system after a human rights activist was hacked and spied on with his own iPhone 6. Google unleashed Android 7.0 Nougat on Monday. Scientists spotted a potentially habitable Scientists spotted a potentially habitable planet not too far away. Tesla's newest Model X is the fastest production car in existence. Uber will begin offering its drivers 401ks and other retirement options, but it's lost more than a billion dollars so far this year, so. MIT accidentally discovered a cleaner smelting process, and President Obama stars in a great new VR video talking about his love for national parks. I'll be camping in a state park this weekend, so it's like we're twinning. 